Hey, it's Willow, and today I am in the kitchen of my friend Electra, who you probably know from Impatient Foodie website. She also has a cookbook coming out June 6th, Yay, which I can't you. wait for. Um, and I wanted to raid her fridge because you always post amazing food, and I love your take on sort of using what you have on hand. Like, you can tell that you're actually in the kitchen cooking a lot, so I'm dying to know what you keep on hand well, on a regular basis. you're welcome to look in my fridge. I, I will take Let's do that. it. Let's do it. <laughs> so is this pretty This is pretty typical? standard. Okay. Yeah. Um, I like to buy things at the grocery store, like a half and half. Like I buy half stuff that I can make from scratch and half stuff that's like pretty much made and I just assemb only, assembly only required. Okay. Because I really only cook myself dinner at night from scratch. And then during the day, I'm so busy. I really only have time to like throw together like a sandwich or, you know, I can't like stand there making like a beautiful lunch for myself. Right. It's just not going to happen. Okay. How many meals do you usually make at home? Um, I eat home most of the time. I'd say like 90% of my meals are made at home. I don't really like eating out anymore yeah. because um, I, I like my own food better and I also find that I just feel better. Um, I think a lot of restaurants, while the food is really delicious, they use things that I probably wouldn't use like a lot of butter or certain kinds yeah. of oils. And so when I get home, I just feel like totally like, ugh, and like yeah. my stomach hurts. And I just kind of got tired of ordering a salad and like having this like super creamy dressing and just being like, just want a salad. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which is such an yeah. interesting take because a lot of times I hear people saying that they're busy so they don't have time to cook at home, but you're saying that you actually have more energy to do all the things that you're really busy with if you do make your food at home. I find that I do. And I really also, not like plan my day around, but I really think ahead about my day and like when I'm gonna be eating and cooking in that day. Yeah. It's, it's not an afterthought for me. It's also like a luxury for me. It's part of my job is to cook and yeah. write about food. So that's something that maybe sets me apart from people who don't work in food. Right. But um, I really do take the time to like be like, okay, I'll be home by 6.30. If I make this meal, I'll be eating by 7.30. I'll be in bed by nine. I can watch an episode of this and be in sleep by 10.30. Yeah, like, yeah. I literally think about it like that. So how often do you restock? So I'm really lucky because there's a wonderful grocery store three blocks away from my house and two delis on the corner. So I usually go shopping and know it's gonna last me like two to three days. Okay. And I don't buy more than that because I just like going to see what they have at the grocery yeah. store. and. Um, yeah, I have a farmer's market on the corner on Saturday, so it's nice to go there too sometimes if I can or have the time or in here. So okay. I'd say like I go food shopping probably like two to three times a week. Okay. Yeah. So what things are like staples that you always have in here? So I always have spinach okay. because I love to put it in omelets or make a salad out of it or toss it with pasta or like I just feel like spinach is like the ultimate yeah. impatient foodie friendly food. Okay. Um, I always I've recently gotten really into these watercress micro watercress oh, sprouts. Wow. Those are really um, pretty. Yeah they're really pretty and I've heard micro crust is really good for you so I'm trying to do that and I always have roast chicken um, from my local store. I don't eat that much meat mm -hmm. anymore. I do sometimes because sometimes I'll wake up in the night and just feel like I need a chicken breast. Yeah. But my boyfriend eats a lot of meat. Okay. And sometimes I also use it for my dogs who really like to have chicken treats. And then. And so is that a pre like a, a pre roasted chicken, chicken and it's from this store where it's like chickens are local and organic and they make them just they're so good yeah. and they cost the same amount as like a whole maybe two dollars more than like a chicken I would have to make from right. scratch so I just do that yeah. okay. um, and I find it's great for like sandwiches or by themselves or on a salad like that's kind of an easy thing yeah. always eggs always tomatoes not always but like if it's the right time of year I usually have tomatoes yeah. in here a lot and then, oh, we have this wonderful bone stock from chickens. I don't know if you can see that, but that yeah. is delicious. And then, you know, potatoes to roast up, lemons, always like a bunch of different cheeses. Okay. <laughs> um, and then everything else is kind of like what's in the season or, you know, if there's something at the grocery store that's like new, I'm like, oh, I'm going to try that. Yeah. I pull it, bring it home and try to figure out how to make it. What's one of your go-to like fast, you need to feel good, but you have a really busy day meals to make? Um, so when I'm really busy, I love making what I call toasties. <laughs> and I literally, so my new favorite toasty is this new product that I found called basil coda, which is actually just um, cashew oh, wow. cheese, but with basil inside. Mm -hmm. And I'll make some toast and then I'll layer it with marinated artichoke hearts Yum. and some Malden salt on the top yeah. or like a sliced heirloom tomato. And I'll make like two or three slices. Yeah. And that's 
That's enough to get me through the day. Like I honestly and don't that probably mean, takes 10 minutes, maybe? Seven. Yeah, I mean, I literally do it while I'm like on the phone and like, you know, doing other yeah. things. That's my meal when I'm, that's my lunch when I'm like, sorry, this is about to fall over. Um, <laughs> when I'm crazed. Okay. And then, yeah, you know, my store has these great pre-made salads. This is like their spring kale that has all local farmer's market vegetables, kale and ricotta cheese in it, and it's all made. So I just have that there like waiting. And would that sorry, just be? That's really bad, isn't it? They've literally been doing work for, I don't even know how long anymore. I, I don't even hear it, but I'm sure it's not great for the video. It's like a weed whacker or something. Sorry, yeah, <laughs> they're, no, they're literally chopping up stones. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very relaxing. If you could choose like one condiment, that you always have, that you use the most, what would it be? I know exactly what it is. What is this Hampton Creek mayonnaise? Amazing. Which I literally yeah. live I off love of. Mayo I too. love mayonnaise. <laughs> and this is um, vegan mayonnaise by Hampton Creek. Do you know this company? No. They're really cool and it tastes exact. I mean, we, we can try some right now. Yeah. You will not notice the difference between this and regular mayonnaise, and it's so good. And I just like, I'm not a vegan, but. You know, when I can, I do, and yeah. that's like an easy substitute because I don't notice the taste difference at I all. I love mayo too. And texture, and it's not like um, what's the other mayonnaise that's vegan that's like not so good. Hampton Creek is like the opposite of that. Do they use aquafaba? Aquafaba? They use um, like pea proteins, and yeah, I mean it's just really good. The guy Josh Chetrick, who runs this company, has a fantastic TED talk about oh, like the okay. future of food. Yeah, really great. Nice. Wow, cool. Well, thank you for. Let, oh, one more question. Sure. Favorite thing to do with potatoes, because I'm also a potato lover. Oh, so my so you can see here that I here it's gonna start beeping. Sorry, um, we're just a noisy house. <laughs> um, my favorite thing is to make potato wedges. You can probably like zoom in on this, and I roast them in olive oil and salt, oh. and then I have them here because then I can make really impatient vegetarian tacos, awesome, which are so good. You just put a little bit of pesto a sweet potato wedge, some watercress, sometimes I um, fry an egg and put some um, cheese on top and that's like a super easy lunch too. That sounds so good. So good. Well, thank you yeah. for letting me invade your fridge. Anytime. Um, I can't wait for your cookbook to come out. Me too. And see you soon. See you soon, thank you. Bye. See, it does like a, it like sucks. It's like, oh. and then it like does more work. <laughs> It's an okay, exasperated now we can sigh from yeah. the refrigerator. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Okay.